everybody and welcome back on my YouTube channel. I am Giovanni Perin. And today we are talking about the minor blues form. Here we go. I hope you are having a great day. Today we are still working with my new book called Easy Mallet, Vibraphone and Improvisation. If you like, you can download for free the backing track that we are using today on my website or listen to it for free on my YouTube channel, so no excuses for not to practice improvisation. Today I would like to show you how to play over a minor blues form. The minor blues form is really similar to the major blues form, except for the quality of the chords that we are using. And there are some subtle changes in the ending of the 12 bar blues. We have four bars of C minor 7, two bars of F minor 7, and again two bars of C minor 7. In the last four bar then we play a 2 5 1 in C minor. So we have D minor 7 flat 5, to G7, to C minor again. If we like, we can play a G7 again for getting back to the root. Now that we know the changes, let's try to connect them properly without moving common tones between them. We start with our C minor, four times. There we go to F minor just by moving down our right hand. So we have five, seven, one, three. Okay? And then again, C minor. Then we want to move to D minor seven, flat five. And then we connect the G seven by moving down the right hand. Okay? Of course, we could have also used a G7 flat 9. We just have to raise the root by a half step. You can always substitute a 7 flat 9 chord to a dominant chord, especially if you are closing in minor, because the flat 9 is really the 6th of our C minor. And then we're back where we started. Of course, there are many other solutions for comping, but this is just a way for you for getting started and get a feeling of the changes. Then you may want to start with other inversions, like for example, first inversion or second inversion. Remember not to go too high when you are comping. Now that we know the changes, we are ready for improvising over the blues form. The first approach is by using the notes of a minor pentatonic. I did other videos where I talk in depth about this scale, but let's review it briefly. We have C, E flat, which is the flat three, F, that is the fourth, G, that is the fifth, B flat, that is the flat seven. The first thing we want to do is to try the scale from the lowest note to the highest note of the instrument by using quarter notes, eight notes, triplets, and 16 notes. Let's see how it sounds. Quarter notes. You can use the pedal every quarter notes. Then back. able to play with the scale fluently around the instrument, we are ready for a basic improvisation. 
We will start by playing with one note and then we will add one note at a time in order to imprint the sound of each note in our ears. Let's see how it sounds. We start with the root. Remember to play different rhythms and dynamics. Let's add the E flat. can insert therefore the flat 5 which is the blue note we can use the flat 5 as a grace note for going to the fifth or to the fourth this resulting six note scale is called blues scale there are other videos on my youtube channel where i talk about this scale and how to apply it in a major blues so go and review them and there's also a video about blues licks so if you are interested in this topic you may want to check them was helpful for learning the basic of the blues form if you want to support the channel you may want to buy some of my books my music or even book a private lesson with me we can use Skype zoom or FaceTime if you like to go in depth into this material there are other videos on my YouTube channel and of course you can maybe purchase my new book called easy mail vibraphone and improvisation there's also a book dedicated to marimba and xylophone for you to get in started with classical playing. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification button, and if you like the video, put a thumb up. We will see next week with the second part dedicated to the minor blues form. Thanks a lot for watching and bye bye.